Hey, today I'm going to talk about three brand new movies that I all quite enjoyed. And the titles of those three movies are Chaos Walking, Saint Maud, and Nobody. Oh, first up is... Chaos Walking. This movie I've been kind of pumped about for a while. Those trailers look great. I love Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. Uh, the basic premise is that uh, it's a sci-fi movie where they're on a new planet and all of the men on the world, their thoughts are constantly broadcast out. Uh, and there's suspiciously no women until Daisy Ridley shows up. Hmm. Like I said, I was really excited for this movie, but then it got really, really bad reviews. But I was still intrigued by it. I'm like, no, I still want to go see it. And I'm glad I did give it a shot because I like this movie a ton. I don't know where all the hate comes from, from people who haven't read the book series. I'll talk about that in a second. Like, as I was watching the movie, I kept waiting for it to be like, when is this gonna get bad? I don't see how this is gonna get bad. And eventually I was like, is the ending just really bad and that killed it for everyone? No, it's a solid sci-fi movie. I enjoyed the premise a lot. The special effects were terrific. Uh, the constant, you know, thoughts, were a little annoying at times and at other times it was like you should really be saying more stuff but really it I enjoyed it there was great humor in there there was great heart there was a great story the dog was adorable so yeah I don't get what all the hate's about except for the people who read the books I read the Wikipedia summary of some of the books and yeah no the books sound amazing like they go down places you really don't expect and it sounds incredible. I completely understand anyone who's read the book, their distaste for this movie. They changed it a bunch, they had a ton of different writers on this movie, and they just completely changed the ending. But I kind of think the reason they changed the ending is because they knew they weren't gonna make the other two books, so they wanted this one to just have a definitive ending rather than the very cliffhanger ending of the books. I do think this will get remade eventually to a more faithful adaptation, and that adaptation is going to be amazing. Um, but with just having just this one, I'm very okay with this thing's existence. I enjoyed it a ton. I don't get the hate. I definitely recommend it to my brothers. I know they're going to like it a bunch, so I don't get it. Also, if you really want to see Tom Holland's butt, you see Tom Holland's butt in this. Next up is Saint Maud. I have been so hyped about this movie. Those trailers look so creepy and so strange. It's an A24 movie, which you know has had such a great track record recently. The basic premise is it's about this woman around my age who is a nurse for people who are dying and she's kind of religious crazy. Yeah, I think that's a fair description. <laughs> She's very into like the self-harm to help God's plan thing. I know that's weird, but that's like a real thing that people definitely do. And she kind of takes it to some extreme ways. Uh, and it's very uh, skin crawly that stop doing this horrible thing to yourself. But yeah, it's pretty dang good. Didn't quite live up to my hype. Uh, it was just a little bit too slow for me. And I wish there was just like a bit more of like the creepy horror element of it because there is a lot of good stuff in there. Just a little bit more would have been so satisfying for me. But it was shot so well. I loved the main actress. She did such a great job. I'm excited to see more of her things because she was phenomenal here. And I believe this is the director's feature film debut. So I'm excited to see where they go as well. I think they definitely have a lot of promise. Also, the ending was great. It kind of went in a way I didn't expect, but also did expect expect and it just it, it it worked it worked really really well and some people are a little upset because it kind of gives you a definitive answer at the end but I almost argue that it doesn't I mean it kind of does but it doesn't I don't know I could see I could see someone arguing that it's not definitive even though it kind of feels definitive but it's good it's it's a good ending I would definitely say if you're intrigued by this go for it it's not gonna hit the same levels as hereditary or midsummer but it's still a solid horror-ish movie it's definitely worth your time and lastly is Nobody. This movie stars Bob Obernick. The basic premise is 
take John Wick and just slightly mix things around just a little bit and you have this movie. The two main differences is that in this movie uh, the main character has a family whereas in John Wick he doesn't. And then the other difference is that uh, in John Wick he's reluctantly pulled back into the life of murdering people but in here the main character is like oh no don't pull me back into this terrible lifestyle I definitely don't want to continue murdering people I didn't crazy love doing that and don't desperately want to go back to it please no don't Otherwise, it, it's kind of almost beat for beat the same movie. But don't get me wrong, that's fine. Because these movies aren't really about the story. They're more about just like the crazy action adventure stuff. And it really delivers on that aspect. The action's great. Comedy's pretty good. The stunts are great. It's just, it's a fun adrenaline filled ride. I didn't know that Christopher Lloyd was going to be in this and he was great. I haven't seen him in anything in forever. So it was fun seeing him as like an action hero. Spoilers, he's kind of an action hero in this. Also fun fact, this was directed by the same guy who did Hardcore Henry. So that explains all of the Russian stuff that happens in this movie. But yeah, it was it was pretty dang good. If you like John Wick, you're going to like this one. It's, it's good fun times. I hope we get the sequel one day. Alrighty, now for today's rankings. First up, we have Chaos Walking, sitting number 48 in the Quite Like section. And then not too far behind that is Saint Maud, also in the Quite Like section at 51. And then bringing up the rear is Nobody, sitting number 55, also in the Quite Like section. This is out of a total of 129 movies so far this year.